Want to get the soul guitar back allows the player's dad to leave in time? Well, welcome to my tutorial, where you will get that guitar. Okay, before we do start though, make sure you're level 2300, you have one dark fragment, 500 bones, and 250 ectoplasm. And also be at the haunted castle area on the map. Otherwise, you won't be able to do this tutorial. This is me editing here, I forgot to mention that it has to be a full moon to do this step, so... Make sure it's a full moon, you could check by looking at the chat. For step 1, head over to the graveyard area over here, and talk to this tombstone. Make sure you pray, and don't do try luck. It will ask you if you want to play a game, and press yes. Once your screen turns black, you did it right. Especially if the candles are lit here. Now let's move on to step 2. For step 2, you must kill 6 living zombies at the same time. Now this step is pretty hard to do, so just follow what I do in this clip. And before you follow this clip, make sure that you shoot the zombies every once in a while because they could regen if not damaged. And also they have flash traps, so be very careful. And now once you kill all six, your screen should turn black. That means you've done it. Congratulations, you're now off the rageful part. Now before I move on to step three, let me just ask if you could consider subscribing. I mean, look at this image. That ratio is pretty depressing, but I'm gonna stop yapping about why I deserve your medal of appreciation. So let's get on to step three. Alright, so first head over to the graveyard over here and you will see some signs. This step's puzzle is that there are rows of tombstones. Figure out which side of a row has the most. Whichever one has the most, you want to click its sign. Now the puzzle here is not randomized, so you could follow what I do in this clip. And now once it's completed, your screen will turn black. Now let's move on to step 4. Alright, this is step 4 and 5, so... Follow me up here to this room here and talk to the ghost NPC inside this door. And once you talk to him, your screen should turn black, meaning that step 5 has started. Now follow me down these stairs here. And there is a code input right here that you could use. You may be wondering what this code input is even for. Well, follow me up the stairs up here. And go out here outside of the castle and you should see these five trophies. So the way this puzzle works is that you have to input like the way the trophies are facing into the code. For example, the handles being left to right means horizontal. And back and forth means vertical. Now this puzzle part is randomized, so watch this clip to see what I mean. Alright, so based on the positioning and the way the trophies are facing, input the code like that. Once you are done, the code will turn your screen black. Now let's move on to the final step. Now that we're on step 6, I'm gonna tell you how this puzzle works. So first you're gonna wanna click these tiles to match the colored pipes on the roof and walls. This is not randomized, so I'll put an image on the screen. But you could also just follow what I put in, since it's literally the same code. And 
now once you put in that code, you finally completed step 6, which is the final step, so congratulations. You can now craft soul guitar. I don't have the materials here, but I'm not gonna get them. Because honestly, screw all that, I already have it on my main account. So I do hope this video helped you with getting this done, I mean the soul guitar. Leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed this video, maybe consider subscribing, and I will see y'all again when I upload again.